In this video, I'm gonna show you the simple steps you can take to finally rank your website in Google, getting more visibility for your business. Uh, Cause SEO can be super tricky to get right, but I'm gonna make it easy on you by prioritizing the smallest amount of work that's gonna get you the biggest payoff in the shortest amount of time. This stuff's been tested not only by me, but by some of the biggest names in SEO out there. So if you follow me here step by step, you're gonna make some serious gains in rankings and in traffic. Okay, let's get started with step one, which is find your most profitable keywords. So before you can create your pages, your content and your backlinks, you need to know keywords and phrases that you're trying to optimize it all for. And a bit of research here is key because I cannot tell you how many times I've been on a coaching call with a business owner who's basically created a lot of SEO content for keywords that either nobody's actually searching for or that are just too competitive to really ever crack. So it's a great idea to come to the table with some ideas that you think would be a natural fit for your business. But you're gonna wanna run those through some free online tools that are really gonna tell you if they are in fact the best choices or suggest some that might be even better. So start out by searching for the Google Keyword Planner on Google itself. And by the way, if you wanna make this even easier on yourself, you can download my free Ultimate Google Ranking Kickstart Kit. And the link to that is down below in the description. So that includes everything you need to get started, including a keyword research guide and workbook. So you'll just follow those steps to input your initial keyword ideas and then generate new ones that Google is going to suggest for you. And once you get all the suggestions, it's now time for step two, right? You're gonna need to start narrowing and prioritizing based on how important each keyword phrase is to you. So you'll wanna pay close attention to three factors here. First of all, search volume. You obviously wanna focus on keywords that get enough people searching for them to make it worth it, right? Now this will completely depend on your niche, of course. Usually the narrower your niche is or the more local your business is, the fewer monthly searches you can expect. But you need to balance that out with competition level. So Google will assign it either low, medium, or high competition. And just to be clear, these competition levels are really more for paid Google ads, but they're still a really good rough guide for how tough it is for organic SEO too. And the third criteria you wanna use when picking your keywords is, does this keyword have buyer intent or simply info intent? So in other words, if someone's typing it into Google, does it seem like someone's looking to spend money on a product or service? Or does it look like they're simply looking for an answer or for inspiration or other free information? For example, if you're a contracting company, someone searching for kitchen remodeling contractor is very different from someone searching kitchen remodeling ideas. And all things being equal, I like to start with buyer intent phrases first if they seem winnable. And then you wanna go after those information intent keywords for blog posts down the line to get even more traffic. Um, it's a little less ready to convert today, but it will very likely become tomorrow's paying client once they've done more research. So after you've prioritized your keyword phrases, it's time for step three. So that's creating the content for your first priority keyword phrase. Um, and when I say content, I mean either a page on your website like your homepage, or a specific service page, or we could be talking about a blog post. So this really depends on if the phrase has that buyer intent or info intent, remember? So if the keyword is a question or seems to be looking for tips, advice, inspiration, or ideas, create a blog post. If it has buyer intent and it matches your overarching business, something like you know Sacramento Photographer, then that could be your homepage. But if it were to be more niche down, like Sacramento wedding photographer, then that would probably be more of a specific service page. So whether it's a sales focus page or a blog post, it's super important here that you create it as a piece of what we call pillar content. Now what I mean by that is it needs to be pretty epic and cover the topic as completely as possible. So ideally, this should really come out between 2,000 and 5,000 words complete with visuals, video if you can make one. You want headings, subheadings, lists, 
easy scannable content, right? That's written for the web. And you know how you picked out the exact keyword phrase you wanna rank this page for? Well, you're gonna to wanna to use that exact phrase verbatim in a few key places. So first of all, in the title tag, preferably toward the beginning of it. You wanna have it in the meta description, again, as close to the start as you can. You want it in the H1 header, which is just what we call the main heading of your page, the, the headline. And then several times in the body text on the page, and definitely try to work it in the first 150 words at least once. Oh, and if you include a YouTube video, you're definitely gonna wanna use your keyword phrase in the title and the description of that video too for some extra SEO points. And remember how I said your page needs to cover your topic as completely as possible? That means you wanna use lots of related words and synonyms of your keyword throughout the page. And honestly though, if you concentrate on being really thorough and complete, this is probably gonna happen naturally. Okay, so once you've completed the content on your first page, it's time for step four. You wanna to link to the new page from other existing pages on your website. So obviously this only applies if you already have a website, but if you're starting a brand new one from scratch, just keep this step uh, in the back of your mind for later. But the point here is, Google likes to see lots of internal linking between your various pages and posts. It really just helps them figure out the overall structure and the topics of your business. So if you have a blog post that's doing well in search right now, find a way to link from that high performing page or blog post to your new pillar page. For instance, if your new page is trying to rank for the term saltwater aquarium cleaning and you have a high performing page about caring for clownfish, let's say, you'd probably have a small section about how often the tank should be cleaned. And then you might just wanna link the words cleaning your tank to the new page, right? So this just helps pass along some SEO juice from the more powerful page to the less powerful one, which helps your whole site rank better over time. Okay, so that covers internal linking, but step five, is where we step away from what you can actually do on your site to what you need to do off of your site. So specifically, you need to build some links from other websites to your new page. Now, that part's important. Notice how I did not say link to your website, right? So don't make the mistake of just getting links back to your homepage. What you actually wanna do is get links to every important page within your site that you wanna rank for individually. So. How do you get these backlinks? Well, my best piece of advice is to simply outsource this part because it's extremely time consuming and requires a lot of manual outreach to other website owners in most cases. And there are just a lot of companies out there like the Hoth.com that specialize in building links for you. And most of them have different packages that can fit into any budget. But you know, generally speaking, the more you can afford to spend, the higher quality the links are gonna be and the more of them they can build for you. Meaning you should be able to rank faster the more you can spend on it. But obviously read reviews first to make sure you're actually getting what you pay for. But if you wanted to do this part yourself or at least in-house, I've got you covered with this video that's all about my favorite ways of building backlinks that work the best and will pack the most punch in terms of actually getting good quality links. So click right here uh, for that video or click here to download the ultimate Google ranking kickstart kit, which has everything you need to do the job right. See you there.